So we're back in um, the old uh, Greenbrier house, exploring, finding, oh, oh yeah, I forgot, I haven't looked at this in the whole game. That's my list of audio journal entries I found. That's quite a lot. It's quite a lot. Um, so yesterday we left off, we, we opened a safe and read a very sad letter. Uh, we found that Great Uncle Oscar has had no contact with his family for quite some time because of something he did. I'm gonna guess, going with the themes of this game, that the thing he did is be gay with a man. Um, and now I actually don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going. What am I doing and where am I going? Oh, right, yes, yes, yes. So I found the combination to the safe in this new area of the house. And... Now I want to go back there from the basement. Uh, wait, I think it was literally this... From this room? Uh, what room am I in? No, I'm in storage now, so I want to go into... Yeah, 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 it was here, right? Secret passage. This has got to be the one. Or did this take me up into the guest room? I don't remember. Let's just see where it goes. Oh no, we're here now. We're here now. Yeah. Oh, and then from here there was a secret passage to the guest room. Yes. I remember now. So we went up there... That's the guest room. We've already looked around up there. We looked around this room quite a bit. We read that. Okay. Okay, we're back on track. We're going to go in here. And we're back in the main part of the house. We're out of the secret passages in the walls. Um, let's see what there is to see. I wonder if we can unlock this door from this side. Unlock from the inside! Hell yeah! And now we can go back into where we started, which we don't really need to do right now. But it's nice to know we have the option. Let's turn on the lights. <gasps> What's this? Salon Josephine. Client's name, Jan Greenbrier. Stylist. I'm pretty sure that says Sherry in the handwriting, but um... The text says Sherry, so who knows. Shampoo, set, color, perm, and manicure. $119! Jesus Christ, that is some expensive hair care. That's the perm that costs the most. Oh, Jesus, I did not know perms were so expensive. Offer of promotion, dear head conservationist Greenbrier. Due to your exemplary management... Exemplary? Due to your exemplary management of the flintlock prescribed burn operation last year and the services need for experienced personnel to direct regional operations, we would like to offer you the position of Regional Conservation Management Director, responsible for operations throughout northwestern Oregon. Your post would no longer be the Flintlock National Forest. Instead, you would work in the Regional Management Office located at 128 Bullhorn Road. Your assistance would be sought in selecting a ranger to fill your former post. Please respond as soon as possible regarding your decision. We very much look forward to your reply. Signed, Bruce Pendleton. 2895. I wonder if she took it. Because office job is very different to being out in the field. Let's have a look at this book. Ah, Spanish textbook. Not very interesting. We'll put that back. What's this? Ooh. Daniel says he's coming over to get his game back. Call Daniel back! <laughs> Sam really didn't... Ooh. Did not want to give Daniel his games back. And I don't blame her. Those were good games. Inside Edition 9pm slash 8 Central. Investigative team visits camp whose specialists help adolescents overcome deviant behavior and homosexuality. Hmm... Not a fan of that. No, I am not. Katie, you know how mom and dad are. Not exactly super open-minded. 
about things. It feels like every minute I don't spend with Lonnie, I spend worrying about them finding out about us. And what would happen if they did? You know Dad's joke about the nunnery that he'd tell whenever you brought boys around the old house? I wonder where he'd want to send me. Oh, poor Sam. I... Folder? Are you... uh, have I just lost my chance to read what's in this folder now because I closed it? It won't open. It says It says to close it, so it obviously thinks it's open. Oh well, it was probably not important. That was the important thing. Oh well, it's fine, it's fine. What have we got down here? Froth Magazine, Music and Culture, Poughkeepsie's Teenagers of the Year, Guided by Voices. Wow, cool magazine. Oh, another painting. That's a tree. What's this? What's this? What's this? Pink 102 FM presents Earth, Wind, and Fire at the Civic Auditorium on Thursday, February the 23rd, 1995. Oh, man. Do you remember? 23rd night of February. <laughs> Let's have a look. What's, oh, it's just a little, little, little closet. What, what's in here? Anything in here? We got a box? What's in the box? Uh, Joy-Cons, please do not drift me over there. I would like to read this note. Sam, this skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico, and it was like three bucks! American. I love it. Merry Christmas. Miss you. Heart L. P.S. Treasure it always. Oh, that's sweet. And... Oh, is that the skull that's out here? Is that the skull? It probably is! Oh, that's sweet. It's a present from Lonnie. That's nice. Oh, look! A little plant hanging down. That's nice. We like plants. Uh, I guess we can go look in here. Mum's purse? How many mum's purses does mum have? Examine pamphlet. Manual for forestry research and education. To Kelma County Forestry Service. Take care of our forests. I agree, we should take care of our forests. Wait, no. What's this? Hi Jan, I got two tickets for EWF on Thursday, but my girlfriend says she doesn't want to go. Her taste in music rears its ugly head again. So that leaves me with an extra ticket that I thought you might be interested in. More fun than clearing brush in the freezing rain, right? Rick! <gasps> Mum's going to see Earth, Wind and Fire with Rick? <gasps> That's not on. No, I wanna... Just, just throw it on the floor! I wanna see if this is anything. It's not. Okay, that's fine. Towels! Oh, it appears we found the dining room. Oh, it's a copy of um, Sam and Lonnie's zine. I wonder what that's doing in the dining room. A whole box of them down in the basement. Can I knock the glass over? Sam, since you refused to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear. Oh, Jesus, his handwriting is atrocious. You are grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone privileges and from using your car for anything but going to and from school. We understand what you are going through, but we can't allow you to continue with this kind of behavior at school. Then clearly, once your privileges are reinstated, we can't allow you to have your bedroom door closed while Lonnie is at the house. This is the last word on the matter. Get back on course so this won't have to happen again. Dad. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. Mum and Dad found out. Oh no. Oh no. Samantha Greenbrier. 
to principal's office, date 422.95, period 2, grade 11, referred by Marcus. Reason, distributing inappropriate materials on school grounds. <laughs> oh, I see she was um, handing out her zine at school. Disciplinary action taken. Why does it not say... Okay, that text thing is useless. Phone call to students, parents, out of school suspension. Okay, well, okay, okay. Okay, so maybe... Maybe they didn't actually find out about Sam and Lonnie, you know, being together. Maybe they just found out about the zine. I had an oh, well, we're interesting find out now, I guess. talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never going to need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, she -Ra. Oh yeah, she or I'll do that to you. I guess. But they they found out about, about the horrible secret of Zine. And they were like, is there something we should know about you oh, and no. Lonnie? Hey Trident and so also, how are you thing. doing? I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Oof, yeah, been there. Well, I have been on there. Because they're in for one very long phase. <laughs> I like that. One very long phase. Let's read a postcard. I'm sure that'll lighten the mood a little bit. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. The Vatican is weird. As you can see, the Catholic Church still has a lot of money left over from the Middle Ages. I've gotten to see all of the art, including the Sistine Chapel ceiling and sculptures by Michelangelo, Donatello, and the rest of the Ninja Turtles. Mom, we'll have to come back together. I'd love to be here with someone who really appreciates the history behind everything. Also, Sam, they have various relics, as in pieces of important dead people, so you should come too. <laughs> Sam loves bits of dead people, apparently. Next stop, Barcelona. Calm down, Dad. I won't get caught by a bull. Probably. Love, Katie. That was a bit a bit nicer than uh, Sam's journal entry. What's this? Mountain Mart. They are selling fruits. And also a pepper. I like how much art they have in this house. Every time I go into a new room, there's cool new pictures on the wall. Okay, so now we know my mum and dad found out and they just refused to accept that it was true. I guess the next question is when they finally accept it because I'm guessing they finally, at one, eventually they will like, accept that it's true. How will they react then? First off, congratulations! Janice Greenbrier, Regional Director. And I say congratulations because, come on, you're going to take the job, right? What are you waiting for, an engraved invitation? Call them back! But in the meantime, let's discuss this little outing you had with your favourite flannel-clad hunk. What a blast! But you sound like you're reading a lot into an innocent night out. You sure there's something there? You said he has an out-of-town girlfriend. You are sure they're not serious? Okay, so we have to figure out when we'll see each other next in person. Enough with the letters! I owe you a congratulatory margarita, boss lady. Soon! Heart Carol. I love this ladybird stationery. Uh, Joy-Con can... Yeah, there we go. Look at those ladybirds! How fucking cute is that? How fucking cute is that? Ladybirds everywhere. Carol is the reason I turned on this um, text overlay thing, because Jesus Christ, her handwriting is... So... Difficult to read. I was trying to think of a good adjective and it was just like, no, nothing, nothing's coming to mind. It's just, it's just difficult to read. Cursive, the ultimate villain. So true. What's this? The Gits. I guess that's probably another band that Lonnie introduced Sam to. Ooh, looks like a little greenhouse area out there. Grab uncrumpled manuscript. <gasps> Is this going to be more of the adventures of Captain Allegra and First Mate? 
the no, it's um, it's not one of Sam's writing. It's one of Dad's writing. The Accidental Warrior, Terence L. Greenbrier. Don't give up on this, honey. Oh, he crumpled it up and threw it away, and then and then Mum picked it out of the rubbish and was like, "No, don't give up. That's so sweet." Okay, whereabouts are we now? Okay. We're heading out of the dining room and into a corridor. This is where... Yeah, I've been around here. Okay, let's see if we can head in here. In here. Kitchen, we have found the kitchen. Wait, wait, wait. Press water dispenser. <laughs> Wasting water. Alright, what have we got in here? We've got the pizza company's number. Wait, it doesn't even have their number on it. It literally just has, like, their address and opening hours. Terrible. Sam's schedule. Working at Crown Burger on Bethel Road. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 3pm to 7pm. Saturday, 12pm to 6pm. Oh, Sam had a part-time job. That's nice. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Blair request the honour of your presence at the marriage of their daughter, Helen Margaret, to Mr. Richard Morris Patamac. Wait, I've heard that name before, Patamac. Is that the name, same surname as the guy who took over the pharmacy? I feel like it might be. Sunday the 4th of June, 1995, at half past four o'clock in the afternoon. Sunset Lutheran Church, Seaside, Oregon. What's in the fridge? Milk! Used by 6595. Wait, when does this... Man, I know this is in 95, but I feel like that milk might be really expired. I'm really annoyed. Like, at the start of the game, I'm pretty sure it tells you the exact date. Oh, well. Hey, Jenny, how you doing? Let's throw the milk on the floor! What have we got in here? Some cola. No brand cola. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, man's cola. The best for your table. <laughs> good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. You expired milk on the floor. And you know what's joining it? The cola. Oh, man. <laughs> what else have we got? Ketchup! Tomato ketchup! It's a good job Jack's not here. He'd be outraged that the ketchup was in the fridge. Russian dressing. Just uh, made of bell peppers, I guess. Just bell pepper flavored sauce. I don't know. More milk. When's 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 this milk expire? I need to know if the milk is expired or not. Where's where's the best before? Okay, is, it, is the best before inside? Like, is it in in the flap at the top? There's like arrows that say best before, but then it doesn't point to an actual best before. We will never know if this milk is expired or not. Let's throw it with the rest of the crap on the floor. I'm just emptying the fridge. I've just decided that is that is my goal now. It's the infinity milk. <laughs> Grab jam. Raspberry jam. Always. When given the opportunity. Grab jam. What else have we got? Grab relish. Oh, man. Sweet pickle relish. That can go with the uh, pepper sauce. What's this? What's this? Grab cheese! American sandwich slices. I tell you, that is not cheese. That is a cheese-like material. There we go. Imitation pasteurized processed cheese food. The game lied to me. It said grab cheese. It's not cheese. It's imitation pasteurized processed cheese food. Which is not the same thing as cheese. I can't believe the game would try to tell me that imitation pasteurized processed cheese food is in fact cheese. I did not grab any cheese. I was told I was grabbing cheese. I did not grab cheese. Zero out of ten. Worst game ever. <gasps> Apples and a banana! A banana's... It looks a little bit spotty, but not so bad. Obviously, the house has not been empty for that long. Caitlin is from US. We don't know cheese at all. That is true. Americans don't know cheese. Like, if the house had been empty for a while, like, 
that banana would just be black. Throwing apples on the floor as well. Gonna bruise these apples to shit. Just yeet them all over the place. That one can go over there. What's in this drawer? Nothing! How disappoint. What's in this side? Oh, we got even more food. Oh, this is the freezer side now. <gasps> Veggies. Miller's whole kernel corn. Individually quick frozen. Keep frozen. Uh, how about now? Is that more corn? Is it more corn? No, this is not corn. Succotash. What is succotash? Right? I don't know what that is. The, the only um, context I even know of the word succotash is because uh, Sylvester from Looney Tunes always says suffering succotash. And that's, that's all I know. Place desired a mountain a pot. It's a vegetable thing. Well, obviously it's a vegetable thing, but specifically what kind of vegetable thing? Is it just a bunch of vegetables and then you call it succotash? Had it once and forgot what it is. <laughs> Fair enough. Frozen spinach. Oh man, it's all natural. Got some more corn. Just making a right old mess in here today. I was being so tidy yesterday, and today I'm just like throwing shit everywhere. Like greens. Ah. <gasps> Ice cream. Oh yeah. Say is fine. Cookie caramel. You know, I've never had cookie caramel ice cream. But that sounds like a delicious combination that I want now. I want it right now. Someone bring me some cookie caramel ice cream. Apparently it's corn and lima beans. Mm. Fish sticks. We do not respect the fish sticks. They go on the floor. More fish sticks. We do not respect. No, give me the ice cream at mine. No. I demand the ice cream. I demand it. Close the door so no one will ever know we were here. Open microwave. <gasps> Where's that banana? Wait, no. No, even better. Even better. Grab milk. And... Nope. Oh, it fell out. Huh! Can we, can we operate the micro- We cannot operate operate the microwave. That is absolutely devastating. We could we could put the milk in the microwave, but we can't turn the microwave on. Oh, we can open these tall door- High up doors. The doors are not tall. They are high up. They are four tall people, but they are not themselves tall. Can we open the cookie jar? <gasps> can, we, can we raid the cookie jar? Who took the cookies out of the cookie jar? Not me. Open the dishwasher. All kinds of stuff. Plates and mugs. Okay, two kinds of stuff. Never mind. No, close the dishwasher. Uh, no, cl close it. Caitlin, you did not close it all the way. I can see that there's nothing in those drawers, so I won't bother opening them. Anything in this cupboard? No. This kitchen does not look finished. Okay, okay, we put the milk in the microwave so uh, the banana can go in the oven. Banana? There we go, banana in the oven. Uh, yay! But, oh, Jesus Christ, Caitlin, that was pathetic. Just put the banana in the oven. There we go. No, it's not closed, Caitlin! Oh, Caitlin, you're so bad at closing doors, apparently. Uh, the pens are already free, that's good to see. Ooh, a letter to read. Congratulations on your new position, dear Regional Conservation Director Greenbrier. Having received your formal acceptance letter, I write to congratulate you on your new position as Regional Conservation Director of the State Forestry Service. We wish you luck in your final weeks at Flintlock National Forest and very much look forward to welcoming you to your new desk in the State Forestry Office at 8 a.m. on May the 1st. Signed, Bruce Pendleton, 4995. Hey, Tom, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Uh, we got some books. Born wait, wait. Grilled cuisine. I thought it said grilled cheese at first. And I was like, is that a whole book about grilled cheese? But no, it's grilled cuisine. It's just a cookbook. 
Brazing. A handbook. Oh man, I've always always wanted a handbook about brazing. Ooh. June 1995. Katie comes home this month. We'll call with exact date. Oh, okay, so it's June now. And that milk was. Wait. I, I, I just realized I read the date backwards on the milk. Because it's American. So when I saw 6 5, I was like, oh my god, May? I'm sure it's well after May, but it's actually June. So the, the milk is probably not expired. Or if it is, it's not expired by a lot. It's 5th of June, and like, we came back sometime in June. There's all kinds of stuff on there. But I can't really read it. There's this big text hovering over it. Oh, anniversary trip from the 4th to the 7th or 8th. No, from the 3rd up to the 7th of June. Oh, maybe that's why the house is empty. The fucking parents are off on their anniversary and Sam, like, probably ran away or something. I'm guessing. I'm Like, that's... Like, at some point, we're going to find out for sure that Sam ran away from home, right? That's... That's where this is going. But that explains why mum and dad are not around. I was so curious about that. I was like, why are they not here? Is it the storm? It does look like things have been left in a hurry though, like in their bedroom. Like there are like drawers left hanging open and like one just fully pulled out and thrown on the floor. So I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe they just packed in a hurry. I don't know. Maybe they're just messy packers. Oh my god. Hippos! <laughs> Some people messy in it. You're right, Tom. You're right. But the real question is, did they become zombies in this zombie mansion from Resident Evil? <laughs> this isn't a zombie mansion. This is a sad gay house for sad gay people. Whoa, I want this cereal. Me too. It's also fortified with eight essential vitamins and iron? Even though I don't like cereal? Sweet and artificial fruit flavored cereal. It just look at that hippo. Look how fucking cool that hippo is. He's got headphones and shades and a backwards cap, and he looks so happy and smiley. <gasps> the maze on the back start. He oh, someone's done the maze. That's so cute. We'll put put the hippos back because we respect the hippos. What is Tuna dinner classic flavor. We do not respect the tuna pasta dinner that goes on the floor. That's a very hippo. It is, Tom. It is. Ooh, delicious moist cake mix. I mean, yeah. This cake is great. It's so delicious and moist. Grab chips. Hamburger dinner. Add to one pound of hamburger. What? It's a hamburger dinner without the hamburger. You have to supply your own hamburger. And then 100% pasta. Oh, so it's like you don't make a burger. You get like the burger meat and then mix it in with this pasta thing. Add margarine and milk. Is this literally just a box of dry pasta? Like you have to add your own margarine and milk and meat. We do not respect this box. It goes on the floor. Hamburger helper. That is a thing I have heard of only in the context of like American TV shows and I never really fully understood what it was. Black beans. We respect a tin of beans. We do. Baked beans. We also respect a tin of baked beans. What's in here? Sweet corn. Hell yeah. Love sweet corn. Green beans. I mean, we don't respect tinned green beans. We only respect fresh green beans. They go on the floor. What's in this bottle? Oh! Some cola. Cola goes on the floor. I mean, it was already on the floor, but it goes on the floor in a mess. Dr. Jitters. What's the blurst that could happen? Grab broom. I can look at the broom. I want to sweep with it. Th that's not how you hold a broom, Caitlin! Caitlin doesn't know how to sweep. What kind of a household was she- Whoa, there's so much shit in here. What's this? Bran with fiber. That is a boring grown-up cereal for boring grown-ups. Honey snaps. Fuel for winners. Oh, hell yeah. I'm a winner. More tins of stuff. 
Oh, interesting. Interesting. So they're a ketchup in the cupboard and ketchup in the fridge kind of family. All right, all right. Controversial, but I respect what you're doing there. All right, we're done in here now, aren't we? Yeah, we looked at it. Oh, no, we didn't look at this table over here. Uh, what's in the drawer? Uh, another cassette. Do we want to listen to the cassette? I think I'm kind of over listening to all the cassettes. But I'm going to do it anyway, just in case. Just in case. It's good. What have we got down here? A book? The Accidental Savior? Oh, that's Dad's um, first book. Another unknown dimension literature discovery. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much what I was expecting. Bratmobile. Some special. Oh, and Lonnie's put a little L on the back. Wait, if I turn it around, can I get a B-side? No. That would have been very cool. But no. Hell yeah, cassette. Cassette goes on the floor. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, no. That's nothing. We can't... No, that's not nothing, apparently. Okay. Where are we now? We're in another room. Paint can. What color is the paint? Tell me what color the paint is. Premium eggshell. That's a boring color for paint. Is there a light in here? It's kind of dark. There we go. What's this? Another of the book. Oh, the accidental pariah. That's the second one, I think. Accidental savior was the first one. And then accidental pariah was the follow-up. Ooh. Ooh. Dear Mr. Greenbrier, first let me say that I hope this missive finds you well. Hell, feels like a goddamn miracle that it finds you at all. Do you know how long we've been trying to track you down? Worry not, we aren't the feds, the men in black, or any other sort of creeping fascist hobgoblins. <laughs> Creeping fascist hobgoblins is an amazing phrase. In fact, we're on your side. Let me start from the beginning. Unknown Dimension is what you might call a specialist publishing house. We traffic in the weird, the ahead of its time, the lost but not forgotten by a small but dedicated group of plugged in bibliophiles type of out there mass market churning visionary expression that refuses to be taken on anything but its own terms. We've had an unparalleled run since our inception four years ago, unearthing and reviving Christ or zombie-like timeless works such as Enon Bestman's Message of the Snake Men, It's Inside Me by Jens Keller, and Emil Krieger's oft-banned Venusian Flesh Traders. But ever since we discovered tattooed copies of your accidental series at a church rummage sale in Long Branch, New Jersey, we've been trying to track down the author of this weird and dark American outsider art. John Russell, mild-mannered insurance agent by day, reckless history revising sociopath by night, is the twisted peacekeeper that modern suburban America deserves. It's our mission to bring him back to life. We want your permission to reprint the work since your original publisher, Mercury Books, folded a, a decade ago. We want you to supply a new forward for the books, to appear in brand new editions of The Accidental Saviour and The Accidental Pariah, to be produced by Unknown Dimension as a limited run and marketed directly to our highly discerning customer base. We look forward to embarking with you and to thrusting your work screaming back into the sweating palms of an unsuspecting American public. It's about time. Blast off. Kaz. Medish Kaczynski? Publisher, Unknown Dimension, blah blah blah, there's an address. Oh man, there's no date on it. So I don't know when that was. I want to know if it was like recent or not. Because we we read a letter, I think, I think the other letter we read was from Mercury Publishing. About how the sequel didn't sell well enough so they were not going to make any more. Wait, is that? Grab hat. Can, can we wear the hat? I would like to wear this. Oh no, I don't want to wear this hat. This hat sucks. Wait, what does it say? Does it say something on it? ROTC. Oh! <gasps> Oh, it's, it's, it's Lonnie's old hat. This is Lonnie's old hat. Do you think this is Lonnie's bike too? I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot, really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions, no contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day and then you deploy from there. So they'll just send her away to who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. She's really going to be gone. 
just gone. Okay, we got a few things to look at in this room. Like this note first. Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary June 3rd to 7th. We'll be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on the way home. Sorry if the kitchen is still mid-renovation. Never trust a contractor. $40 is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Be good, Dad. Ah! That explains all the empty pizza boxes and also the half-deconstructed kitchen. Gone. Just gone. Just gone. Home. <laughs> hey, that's the name of the game! <laughs> no, she's going away from home. This is the thing. Now this looks like... Yeah. Ask me about clown combos. A work uniform thrown in the bin. Bonnie, my parents are leaving town, so we'll have the run of the whole house till, till you leave. Imagine actually spending the night in my room instead of sneaking to our usual spot in the attic. Not that the attic doesn't have its musty allure, but my bedroom is warmer. Sam, we should defile your parents' bed while they're gone. That'll show them. Lonnie, you are gross. Never change, Sam. <laughs> yeah, let's fuck in your parents' bed is a, is a weird, a weird one, I gotta say. Um, oh yeah, because Lonnie ships out, well, shipped out on the 6th. Or ships out on the 6th, because I don't know what the date is right now. In fact, it is currently somewhere between the 3rd and the 7th. If, oh, di no, is it July that she shipped out? I don't remember. Oh man, I'm getting all my dates mixed up now. I don't remember. So... She could still be around. Uh, is there anywhere else I can go? Oh yeah, I can. I think I can still explore down this hallway. Got a little... Ooh! Ooh! There's a loose panel that's been pulled off. Okay, let's look at this postcard from Barcelona first. Hi, Mum, Dad and Sam. I've had a wonderful time on the beaches of Barcelona. Dad and Sam, I think you would like the Gaudi architecture. It's from a strange alien world. I'm headed to my final destination, Amsterdam. For how long? That depends. I'm running low on money. I'll look for a cheap standby ticket and call you when I'm headed home. Sorry for the short notice. Can't wait to see you all again. It'll be good to be home. Love, Katie. Oh, that can't have been from that long ago then, can it? Has it got a date on it, maybe? Oh yeah, there we go. 10th of May, 1995. And that's nice. They um, got the dates in the right order because it's uh, sent from Europe. What's this then? Booted out. A going away show for Lonnie D. Girl Scouts last show ever. All ages $3. Saturday, June the 3rd. The Tonic. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. Like, I don't know what comes next. And I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. That's so sad. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Oh, that's very sad. That's very sad. It also clarified them some dates for me. So the going away show was on the 3rd. And then after that they had 48 hours left. So that puts us up to the 5th. 
but like the night of the 5th, so I assume she left on the 6th. But if the parents are not back yet, it must literally be like the 7th today. Unless there's another reason why they're not in and it is after their anniversary trip, but that doesn't seem likely to me. Let's turn the lights on in here. I think we have found a laundry room. Ooh, what's this down here? The slits. These little badges all over the place. Open washer! There's nothing in there. Grab softener and uh, fabric softener goes in the washing machine, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's gone forever now. There's no way I'm getting that back out. <laughs> uh, open this door, I guess. Oh, we're in the little greenhouse bit with all the plants. Look at all the plants. Lovely, lovely plants. Oh, and a typewriter. But maybe this is where Dad did some writing when he was not sat in his office. Oh wow, there's a lot of post-it notes in this book. In the filing cabinet, not in the top drawer. Looks like there's something in the bottom drawer. Ooh, a pamphlet. Strong Pines, a couple's counsel- <gasps> Couple's counseling retreat in the beauty of La Columbia Gorge. Booked June 3rd to 7th, 1995. I knew something was going on with Mum and Rick. It's so bad they went to couples counselling. It's not an anniversary trip at all. Damn. The Accidental Human by Terence L. Greenbrier. Damn, he was working on another book! Do you like jazz? <laughs> I love that jazz mug. It's great. Let's turn the lamp on. There we go. From the pen of Terence L. Greenbrier. That's some fancy ass stationery header. Look at that! Dear Kaz, I can't tell you what a joy it is to see John Russell back in print. Thank you very much for se sending along copies of the new editions. The cover art is really something. I know you've said that Unknown Dimension isn't in the business of printing new material, but this revived interest in my work has brought on a wave of inspiration, resulting in a manuscript that completes John Russell's journey, which I think you may find intriguing. It's reflective and introspective, without forgetting the excitement and weirdness that Unknown Dimension readers expect. I hope this might be an exciting new direction for Unknown Dimension to pursue. At the very least, I am grateful that John Russell's adventures didn't come to an end quite when I thought they had. My thanks and regards, Terence L. Greenbrier. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad that his books are doing well now. Or, like, well enough to make him happy, at least. Cover copy. It's been almost 20 years since John Russell heard the call. Twice he saved a president's life. He's practically forgotten the days of the future, of danger and excitement. The days where he mattered. So when that familiar up in time opens in front of him, and his handlers peer out, he doesn't hesitate. Is the president in danger? No. The life you saved this time will be your own! Wow, what a twist! So dramatic! Oh, I was like, is there something on the floor? And it's like, I think it's just like a pencil or something. Where we'll do it. Excuse me? <laughs> Under stairs, secret door. Ooh, we found a new secret door. Midnight, June 5th. Final preparations are complete. Um, do I want to go there? It could be June the 5th right now, for all I know. Like, I know June the 5th is, like, the earliest it could possibly be, I think. But actually, no, like... We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off, then ran up to the attic to look through our photos, to find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. 
and there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I'm lost. Where was I said I didn't door? want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that. Was in her him? arms. Yeah. In the morning, I woke up. Uh. And I was finally alone. Hey Sarah, how are you doing? Okay, yeah, so that journal entry was from June the 5th, so that means the earliest it could possibly be is June the 5th, and like the latest it could be is like the 7th? Whoa! When they said do it, I don't think they meant sex! They had a goddamn seance in here. Possession and exorcism. Interacting with the supernatural and releasing unwanted spirits. Uh, put that down. Good productive day today. Nice. I love it. Oh, the key to the attic. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's... Oh. A new journal entry. The sunset How are you too? I'm good, thanks, Sarah. It's the saddest thing I've ever seen. Even though this game is incredibly sad. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. Oh my god, what if Sam is just sat in the attic right now, being sad and lonely? Hey, it's Great Uncle Oscar. That's so nice. Oh my god, I just went to put back, and instead of putting it back where she found it, she put it back stood up, so you can see it. Oh. And I guess this is going to be Oscar's name tag, yeah, from Mason's Pharmacy. Oh, and that gets put back face up as well. Wow, I guess it's time to finally head into the attic. If the game lets me, like, move properly. Well, not the game, my Joy-Cons. It's my Joy-Cons that are fucking me up, but it's fine. Joy-Con Drift is the real emotional journey. It really is. Unlock. It's not just the drift, though. It's like sometimes it doesn't register inputs because, like, I don't have a clear line of sight between my Joy-Cons and my Switch. Um, just because of, like, the way I'm sat and where I'm sat. Okay, here we are. We're in the attic. Wait! Wait! No, I have I have to do something. I have to do something. Uh where where is the stairs? Let me go back downstairs. I have to I have to do something. Where are the stairs? Where are the stairs? Where are the stairs? Where are the stairs? Hello! Where are the stairs? I said while I was already downstairs. Christmas duck, let's put you a nice way around, so I'm not looking at your butt. I am bringing Christmas Duck to its nest in the attic. That was definitely Christmas Duck's nest, right? Like, it had a little bit of holly on it? Duck percent! Hell yeah! I mean, I saw that and, like, my brain lit up. <laughs> I'm gonna get so much serotonin from putting this duck in this nest. There you go, Christmas duck. Good old Christmas duck. Hell yeah. Amazing. 
I bet if I was playing this on Steam, I'd get an achievement for that. But alas, I'm playing on the Switch. Legit didn't know that was a thing. Oh, now you do. You didn't even close the front door? Oh, I didn't. Well, it's a bit late now. <laughs> Examine drawing. Hold on. I just want to... Oh, no, it's quite it's quite big up here. Okay, I can examine the drawing. Yeah, it's, be, it's been open for hours. It's, it's, you know, damage is done. Sam, I'll always remember what we had. Stay strong. Kick ass. I love you, Lonnie. It's too sad. It's too sad. Oh, my God. Katie. I, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie in my old spot. And... I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie. <gasps> on a payphone. <gasps> She'd been on the bus to basic and she said she couldn't... <gasps> she couldn't think of anything but me and us. And that she couldn't go through with it. With the army and being a part and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. Oh my god. Oh my she god. Said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. Yes, yes! And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. Yes, good. And she asked me if I could do that. Yes, you could! And I said yes. Uh, yes, of course you did! Yes. Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god, is this turning into a happy gay game instead of a sad gay game? I don't know what this is. Alkaline fixer. Oh, it's for photo development, I see. Yes, because this is this is the dark room for photography. And that is a photograph. A very close up photograph of, I guess, Lonnie's eye. Ah, uh, that's Lonnie in uniform. Turn the lamp on. Oh, it's a red lamp because it's a dark room. Nice. And oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that's so freaking cute. <gasps> okay, so I guess we're not going to find Sam in the attic being all ooh, being all sad and gay. She's she's gone. She's out of here. She's living a best gay life with her girlfriend. That's a sweet pick, it really is. Letters to Katie. You know what? I think this might be it. I think I think this might be it, guys. There's nowhere else to go. Let's read Letters to Katie. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself, but I hope as you read this journal and you think back that you'll understand why I had to do what I did and that you won't be sad and you won't hate me and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again. Someday. Love, Sam. Ah, that game was so good. <laughs> I'm so happy that Sam got her happy ending. Clap, clap, clap. Yes. Very good Fulbright Company. Good game. It's too cute, it is. <laughs> oh my god, both of the both the voice actors are called Sarah. <laughs> Featuring the music of Heavens to Betsy, Bratmobile and the Youngins. Oh my god, Bratmobile are a real a real group. Rock, hell yeah, hell yeah. Everyone is called Sarah, everyone in the whole world. Oh, 
Well, it's been less than an hour. <laughs> do I want to end the stream already? But I don't have any ideas what to do next. I mean, oh wow, that's a big special thanks. I mean, we could go for a complete change in tone. How do we feel about some Mario Kart? Clown on the Switch. I'm gonna let the credits finish because it looks like they're nearly over. Although I am having Joy-Con issues, so maybe that's not a great idea? I don't know. We'll do a couple races, see how it goes. I don't want to finish after less than an hour. Thanks for playing. Thanks for making the game! Joy-Con more like Joy-Conned. Got him. <laughs> You know, we never did find out exactly what happened with Great Uncle Oscar. Uh, I'm just gonna assume that he did a gay with a man and that caused his family to disown him. S and L. So cute. I'm so happy for them. Running off and being lesbians together. Whip. Let's play some Mario Kart. We need to change. Change the category. Heck yeah, Mario Kart. Heck yeah, indeed. Here we go. It's Rosalina, the best Mario character. Reese's for fun. Smiley face. Done. There we go. Let's go global. Race. I unironically love rabid Rosalina. Do you know what? Me too a little bit. Me too. I also play baby Rosalina in Mario Kart because I'm just that powerful. I play baby Rosalina. No one can match the raw power of baby Rosalina. Oh shit, it's Wednesday. I didn't watch Loki. Okay, I'm gonna have to watch Loki today. I can't believe I forgot to watch Loki while I was having my dinner. So stupid. I need to watch Loki. Noom! We're gonna noom so much. You won't noom what noomed you. What? You won't noom what hit you. I don't know. I'm trying to do a joke, but it's not working out very well. Okay, Yoshi Valley. Everyone always picks Yoshi Valley when it's an option. I don't know why. Damn it. That one guy has more points than me. That's... Oh no. Okay. It's fine. It looked like the mic died for a second, but it looks fine now. Boop! Let's go! Purple boost! Oh crap, I hit a wall. Oh! Oh, what a waste of a mushroom. <laughs> That is the problem with playing a small light character. You just get knocked about all over the fucking place. Give me the double. No, oh, too fast. I should have gone for one of the singles. Ah, banana! This is not going well. It's not a great start. Waluigi, fuck off, dude. Everyone, there's so many Waluigis in Mario Kart online. Not too many in this race, but I've been playing a lot. Well, I've been playing a fair bit recently. And, like, sometimes you get, like, upwards of four Waluigis in one race. And you're just like, can you all just do something different? Is that a me dressed as Sonic? Is that a fucking me dressed as Sonic? It looks like a me dressed as Sonic. Doing real- Oh, fuck! I got egged! Got big egged. Ah! 
I drove into a tree! I promise you, I am actually not bad at Mario Kart, okay? This is just a bad race. Sometimes things go wrong and then they just continue to go wrong. Oh fuck, where did that green shell come from? This Isabel bitch, I guess. It's one side so I don't get bullet belt. Smart of me. Big brain play. Go, go, get the double, get the double! No, I'm just getting the single. I was I had a bad angle. Oh! Fuck! No! No, 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 no! I got red shield on the like the last corner! Fuck! Oh man! Ah! Sonic Team Racing confirmed. <laughs> okay, that was a bad race. No Joy-Con issues, which is good, but oh, that went so wrong. I fell off the bridge and I was doomed from the start. Egg. Very egg. Rooting for German Joel. Sarah! He's supposed to be on my team. He's supposed to root for me. Me! Look at that crown. I want it. I want that crown. This asshole over here with a crown. That's my crown. By rights. I deserve the crown. Just for existing. This is the worst bit about playing Mario Kart online. Some asshole always just doesn't vote for a course. They just sit there and let the timer count down. Like, you're keeping everyone waiting. There's always one. If you don't care, just click random. Don't make everyone wait. German Joel sucks. He only has 4,000 points. I have 7,000 points. I'm 3,000 better than German Joel, and you're still rooting for that loser? What happened? No! No, my Joy-Con! No! It did not register my input. That was very bad. That was a bad time for that to happen. <laughs> it's fine, though. It's fine. I only got off to a good start and then had it completely wrecked by my uh, Joy-Con not recognizing when I pressed the button, but it's fine. I can't believe I didn't even get to knock anyone with my star. Triple green, that's not bad, that's not bad. Oh fuck, I drove into a laser like a stupid bitch! I'm a stupid bitch! getting first in this one. First is way too far ahead. You know what? Fuck it. Let's throw a red, see what happens. <gasps> Triple red! Holy shit! Come on! Come on! Oh, fuck. How did this happen? Nope, they're already across the line. God damn, that was close, though. 
Germans need to stick together. <laughs> no, I really just wanted to mess with you. I'm always rooting for you. Ah, oh, that's sweet. Look at you getting jealous. It's cute. <laughs> well, thank you for saying so. It was not supposed to be cute. <laughs> I was supposed to be being very silly and unreasonable, but I'm glad you thought I was cute anyway. Damn it, so close to getting that crown! Okay, I can't race sitting like this, my leg hurts. I knocked the cat down. Oh crap, this might fuck up my Joy-Cons though if I sit like this. Oh god, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh, this is I don't think this is gonna go well now, actually. Shit. <sighs> please don't let me down. Joy-Cons, please don't let me down. Not a great start, no items. Purple boost! I love getting the purple boost, they go for so long. Oh shit. What a waste of a red shell. Oh fuck. Whoop! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good! Oh, we're bad. Oh, here we go. Piranha Plan, let's go. Oh, shit. No, I went on the grass again. So I used third place, baby. <laughs> oh my god! Considering how low down I was for most of that race, I'm happy with third. <laughs> oh, I love when that happens. You're just doing shit, and then you get like one good thing on the last lap, and you're like, just just come out of nowhere. Still no crown though. I won't be satisfied till I win one. I gotta win one. I got to. So unfair! The fuck are you on about, Shipe? You won! Imagine winning a race at what oh my god, I hate this asshole so much. Someone docks this person so I can go to their house and slap them. I I swear to god. Ooh, a full twelve, nice. Why are you doing the cap? There we go. It was starting the countdown and everyone had already voted. <gasps> Hell yeah. I love this course. It's so good. Dragon Driftway is one of my favorites. Come on, Lucky Two, let me go. Let me go. Here we go. Yes. Waluigi, fuck off! Waluigi's are always crashing into me! Double! Yes! Mushroom having bastard! Cut 
the corner on me! I'm gonna get you, Kai. I'm gonna get you. I don't know how. I only have... I was about to say, I only have a banana. Let's see how you like it, bitch! <laughs> there was a bomb. It's fine now. Oh crap, I wanted to use my coin, but I was too slow. SHIT! No, come on! Oh, that asshole has the fucking box of doom! Wait, he used his box? No, where'd the boomerang come from? Now a boomerang again! No! We went show! I needed that! No! Ah! No! Phelps, gaze not into the online lest you become online. Online racing has changed you? I'm always like this. It's just the, the online racing uh, brings it to the surface. That was so unfair! I deserved that win! That was my win! <laughs> oh, I got blue shelled and then red shelled and then the guy in first- the guy who overtook me after I got blue shelled and red shelled he had- he had the ultimate defensive weapon and then he used it on nothing! And then I used a red shell on him, and then immediately got lightning, so I couldn't red shell him again to close the gap! <sighs> and then a someone with a star and a bullet bell, and... I deserved that win. That was my win. I was in first for practically the whole race. <laughs> That's what Mario Kart does to a person. You'll get it eventually. Oh, I've won enough Mario Kart in my time. I'm not that bothered. <laughs> I like to get all excited about it and shout and things, but I'm not that bothered. <laughs> like, you don't get to 7,294 points without winning a few games of Mario Kart, you know? And that's only on Deluxe. On, um... On the Wii U version, I had even more points than this. Oh crap, that was not a good start. Because my Joy-Cons put me over. We're okay though. Ooh, I got that close! That was risky. Oh no, not on the red. Oh, that was brutal. I have no chance to escape that. Oh, are they all taking a shortcut there that I don't know about? They might be taking a shortcut I don't know about. <laughs> oh, damn, that was a shame. <laughs> Go flex. <laughs> hey, listen, Mario Kart is one of the few things I can, like, actually flex about, okay? <laughs> At least a little bit. I got got by the egg. Remember when that happened? That's a callback to uh, the Yoshi Valley race. 
Because <laughs> that person was- Oh, crap! I did not let go of ZL. What are you talking about, Joy-Con? Crap, that wall is- Oh, there we go. I'm safe now. Oh, yep. Star make go fast. Go fast, make go off edge. While I'm rooting for you, I sympathize with German Joel. I too suck at Mario Kart and I'm always last. Oh, Whoa, oh god, the changeover, the changeover. I'm not doing great on this race. Oh god, that's shameful. I got a blue shell and a bullet bell. I'm embarrassed. And I'm still in seventh after all that. Sixth. Oof. Oof. That is a big oof. Sixth place. I still got some points for it, so apparently I didn't do that bad. Oh my god, did you see who came in last place? Last place had like 8,800 points. It just goes to show, anything can Mario in Happen Kart. Anything can happen in Mario Kart. You gotta put your words in the right order, Roxy, otherwise it doesn't make sense. That same guy keeps winning, though. That's annoying. That guy won earlier. We can say things. Let's go! I can't say things anymore. I have been banned from saying let's go. I tried to say it twice in quick succession and it only let me say it once. Oh, I need to decide what I'm going to play next on stream. Let's go! <laughs> Luckily, I won't be streaming tomorrow, so that gives me time to decide and purchase a game. I've been playing lots of short, little short games recently. I've been enjoying it. Because I played, like, a bunch of big ones in a row. I played, like, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and then Control, and then Horizon Zero Dawn, and then... Then I took a break! And I played some small games in my week off, and then I played small games on stream. Oh, damn. It was such a shame on Monday. Um... I was playing Beasts of Maravilla Island, the cool magical creature photography game, and then my microphone died after like an hour. So I had to end the stream because I couldn't get it working again. Um, but then I finished the game off stream. Like, it was only like a three hour game, so I just played the rest of the game on Monday afternoon. And it was really good. I would recommend it. If you want to spend some chill time taking photos of pretty animals. Beast of Maravia Island. It's on Steam. Oh no, I could have taken the oh, I could have taken the shortcut, but I was not paying enough attention. Do you ever just while you're playing Mario Kart kind of go into auto Oh fuck, and stop paying proper attention? Because I do sometimes. I have, I have, like, two Mario Kart modes. I have, like, super intense, um, concentrating really hard, getting all excited. And I also have, like, zen state of calm, where I'm barely even thinking about the game. I'm gonna fuck this Waluigi up. Watch this. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck this Wario up. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am! Yeah, I am! No, I'm not! Oh. I nearly fucked myself up then. Oh! Oh, it, oh my god, it's... The guy who won earlier. No, 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 my mushrooms! Oh, I was gonna... No! That, no! I had two mushrooms! I was gonna do so good! I was gonna cut some corners! Uh... Where's German Joel at? Everyone only cares about German Joel! German Joel left! Fuck German Joel! 
<laughs> Damn, that was a shame. That that was shaping up to be a really good race. And then, bam, 11th place. <laughs> okay, why the fuck is Chris Griffin playing Mario Kart? It's, I can't not see it. The guy in orange. It's, okay, he's gone now. There is no more Family Guy in my stream. That makes me happy. Ooh. Maybe I should have paid attention and actually voted for a course because I really like two of these courses and I'm not so keen on the other one. Like, I don't hate it, but it's just not one of my favorites. Like, Toad Harbor and the, um, the, um... Shit, what's the music one called? I forgot what the music one's called. Man, I miss Mario Kart. You're watching it right now, Tom. <laughs> Oh, we're in mirror mode! Mirror mode fucks me up every time. I know the courses too well. Mirror mode just fucks me up. Do you not have the means to play it, Tom? Do you, you don't have a Switch, do you? I don't think you do. But I could be wrong. Say already, I took that corner at a really weird angle. Just pretend I'm playing. Yeah, you do that. Just pretend. Live vicariously through me. Oh my god. Oh my, what a mess. What a mess. No, no, no. Oh my god. Oh, oh Jesus. Uh, Tom, what are you doing? This is Tom's fault. Tom's playing this. It's not me at all. Gave my Wii U to my brother years ago and I never got a Switch. Damn. No Mario Kart for Tom then. I wanted those coins to make me go faster. Alright, let's try to do better on this lap. God. I was so scared I was going to drive right into that red shell. <laughs> I've done that so many times. Oh shit, no! I forgot it was mirror mode. <gasps> okay, this is good. This is a good position to be in. I also hate when the- Ow! You knocked me down! Place is okay, I guess. We finally found Roxy's Mario Kart weakness mirror mode. Oh, I'm no, I'll tell anyone. Like, if I'm play, if I want to play Mario Kart with people who don't play Mario Kart much, I'm always like, let's mirror mode, because then it's um uh fairer because I'm at a disadvantage because I don't know the courses very well on mirror mode. Hashtag get Thomas Switch. What's a Thomas Switch? <laughs> Special subclass of witch, very lovely and kind and wholesome. It's the best kind of witch, frankly. Oof, oof, we're hemorrhaging players here. We've got like six people left. And also, I might make this the last race. It's only been a short stream today, but... Uh, I might use the time to like do some chores maybe? Or maybe I'll just watch Loki instead. <laughs> we all know I'm just gonna watch Loki instead. Oh, I love this course. Oh, it's so good. Sunshine Airport. 
Ah, hair in my mouth. Alright, let's go. Let's go! Waluigi on a wiggler. I messed that up. Jesus Christ, that was terrible. Oh shit, this is a close race. Everyone is like bunched up together. Apart from that Isabel, I think she quit. Oh no, she was just lagging. Look at purple guy, he vibing? Oh look, the purple guy is German too. Go German Eric. Oh no, not another German. I can't compete with these Germans. Waluigi. Ow! Waluigi did not get out of my way. Oh, fuck. What a mess. What a mess! Started off so strong and then I fucked it up. Double box, hell yeah. Red shell this asshole, hopefully they don't have any defenses. Oh shit, a boomerang. That's scary. Oh, oh god, a star and a boomerang coming up behind me. Terrifying. He's got a banana! Oh! Oh! Nah! Come on, just, 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 just. Yes! Go, okay. Let's go, 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 let's go. No, 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 no! Come on, mushroom. No, I didn't touch the mushroom! No! Uh, that was painful. If I'd have touched the mushroom, I'd have won. All I had to do was touch the mushroom. <sighs> Still amazed they managed to re-release a game so soon. Well, I mean, like, the first year or two of the Switch was basically just Wii U games getting re-released. <laughs> <sighs> well, we didn't win one. But we came close a few times, and that's good enough for me. Alright, so like I said, yeah, so many Waluigis, yeah! Like I said earlier, everyone picks Waluigi, because he's like the meme guy. But also I think he has good top speed as well, and he's the meme guy, so it's just like, yeah. But it gets boring, you know? The more Waluigis you see, the less funny Waluigi gets. And then it's just like, okay, it's the lanky purple guy, I get it. Um, but yeah, so no stream tomorrow. Um... What day is it? It's Thursday tomorrow. That's why there's no stream, because I have plans on Thursday. <laughs> Friday, maybe stream? I don't know. Friday is always a maybe, because I'm like, sometimes I feel like it, and sometimes I don't, because, like, you know, work and stuff. Um, and then I don't know what I'm going to play next, so I have to decide that. <laughs> but until then, thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and stay safe. Bye!